Hello everyone, my name is Camjack and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're doing another mod review from the Steam Workshop for Space Engineers. With me today I have Tractor Beams by Newgard. This is an amazing creation and I've always wanted Tractor Beams Space Engineers. I know a lot of people have as well. It's one of the, like a feature I've seen people asking for for like the last couple of years Space has been out now. It's really cool to have a mod in it. I believe it was an earlier Tractor Beam mod on the Workshop a year back I'd like to say. But I don't think it works anymore, so new guards come and create this awesome track to beam here. It makes use of Siphon's energy weapon script for those people into APIs and scripting all that fancy jazz that I don't entirely understand. But you know, it's just something I thought I'd make note of because it's stuck on the page next to me. But anyway, let's get into this. So basically, it's a track to beam. Now we most commonly see track to beams in the sci-fi universes. We see them in Star Wars quite a lot. The reason I've chose this mod is A, because I got to put it on a Star Destroyer and pull some stuff in. Always pretty cool. Sadly, I couldn't find a, a good Millennium Falcon in time, so I got some of my ships. I've got the Eclipse and the fight over there, which we're going to pull in in a minute and have some fun. But anyway, uh, one thing to note is, I don't know if this build has build states. I tried grinding it down and it crashed the game, so we're not going to do that this time. Even though that was quite funny a minute ago, but let's not do that. So it might have build states, I don't know. It doesn't say on the page, I don't think. Not in front of me. But yeah. Anyway, so this is a model of a tractor beam. This lovely sort of beam area down here is really cool. I love, like, it looks like coiling around with metal that. It really looks like put together and like it could channel some energy. Brilliant design detail over here. We've got some uh, electricity stickers there. I think there's a high voltage one here as well. We've got danger high voltage. All the design details down here. So cool. For a block, so much detail goes into it. It is so cool to have that. Little rivets on the side here. It's not bad. And I love the way this is built. It's so cool. This is going to move any minute now. There you go. But just look at that. The beam is so cool. I love these sort of like coil bits around the actual structure there. It's really nice. And looking into the infinite bit there as it channels particle energy and stuff like that. I don't actually know how tractor beams work physically. I'm pretty sure if my friend Reese said he'd probably explain it to me. But I don't know how it'd work. But yeah, we're going to test it out anyway. So we're going to hop into the Star Destroyer and see if we can pull some things in. Because it is quite funny when you pull stuff in. I managed to break the Star Destroyer when pulling stuff in, which was quite funny. But yes, let's see. It's tractor beam. We need tractor. Let's do use tractor beam 2 because that's on top. Um, so looking in here, it looks like the basic thing as a turret. It's kind of what it is. Our aiming radius, we can switch up to 800 if we want. Um, I don't know if the automatic stuff works. I don't think it does. But this is our main control system down here. We've got minimum distance. Um, so this is a minimum distance objects can be from a tractor beam. So 15 is good. You don't want, anything, you don't want to pull anything in that's closer than 15 meters because it's already close enough. The maximum distance um, is from beam that objects can be pulled into that range. Not a bad idea. And the strength is um, how the force of the neutrons basically are what you're pulling in. So I mean, we've got 50. I think we might up that to probably not 2,000. Oh, is that, can we not change it there? That's 200. Oh, it must be between 2,000. Okay, we might have just broke the normals. Um, what if we do that? There we go, let's do 20,000 and see how well this goes. Um, I think that's everything on a page I need to read out. Yes, it does. So let's just see how this works and how this goes hideously wrong any minute now. So we're going to click Control. Uh, we're facing backwards, so this is one here. Um, there's a fighter over there. Why don't we pull this in? Now, one thing to note is, it doesn't have inertial dampness on the fighter. Can we pull it in? I think we may need to change our distance. But look at those particle effects there, it's so cool. Um, oh, let's see, can we pull this in? I don't think we can, we may need to change the distance on it. Tractor beam, so we do maximum distance, that is... So maximum distance, the maximum distance from a beam, the object can be pulled into that range. Ah, so if we up that to... Let's do just 200 meters, because then we're definitely covering ourselves. So let's do that. The fight is definitely moving now, I believe. Now, I wonder if it stops it moving. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't stop the fighter moving. There we go, control. Right, where is it? There it is. So this ship's got turned on. Now, I wonder if we can pull it, even though it's got engines. Now, I think it's going to try and resist. I think it's resisting. So... If we up the strength, crazy amounts. Oh, okay, it's pulling it in. So its engines are trying to resist now, I believe. Yep, the engines are trying to resist, but we're still pulling it in. That's not bad, is it? I like that. I love the particle effects we've got going here as well. One thing to note is it's not been fully tested on dedicated servers, I think he said. Oh no, it's been scribbled out. Important object, large, large objects not under inertial dampness will be pulled in at an increasing rate. But will be slowed uh, slowed the closer they get to a beam turret. There we go. So yeah, we can definitely pull a fighter in. Now, can we pull the Eclipse in? Oh, we can. I don't know if it said these would be slowed. It's still moving. 
We're definitely pulling it in. This is going to be one of those accents again where I pull things in and just break the entire thing. Is what we're currently doing, I believe. One thing I'd love to see in space is, is a grappling hook. I've been watching Star Trek Enterprise recently, and to have a grappler would be pretty cool. I think we've probably pulled that in too closer now. Oh dear. Nope, let's just get out of here. Come on, no. Come on. Go to the side, go to the side. Oh dear. Move. Oh. Ouch. That didn't work out too well. But yeah, you get the gist of it. You can pull things in and kind of break it yourself, as I've just proved. We might need to remove that eclipse before it gets destroyed. <laughs> okay, we kind of caused a bit of damage there. But yeah, you kind of get the gist of what retractor beams do. You can have massive amounts of fun with them. Like I say, I love pulling things around. I'd love to test it in a multiplayer scenario. That's something I will hopefully test at some point. But yeah, I'd love to test it in a multiplayer scenario where you could kind of get like a couple of guys flying away in fighters and then like retractor beam intercepts and pulls them back in. It would be really cool to test that at some point. So I'm hopefully you're going to have a play around with that. But anyway, if you like tractor beams, you should definitely go and download this mod on the workshop. There's a link down below in the description. I do recommend you try it out. I have ways of fun of just pulling things in and breaking them around. It really reminds me of Star Wars. Maybe we can see a bit more um, in-depth builds of interdictor cruisers from Star Wars now, now that we have tractor beams and that. It would be pretty cool to see what we can do. Anyway guys, I've been Cam Jack. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like rating on it. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you did like it. And don't forget to check out Newt, Gu uh, Newt Guard's mod down below in the Steam description. It would be pretty cool. Anyway, I've been Cam Jack. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.